Hey MSM fam, uh, I hope you and your loved ones are doing well. Um, sorry for the big gaps in creating uh, new content. Uh, I've really just been doing other things and I thought there were enough V-Matrix videos out there from PCMS, but having watched a couple, maybe they're not exactly the same. So uh, just to preface this video, uh, I don't get paid for these videos. And that also means I'm not under any obligation to create new content content except from um, when you guys ask really nicely so i really appreciate that because it kind of is cool to know that other people like to play this game and i do as well so um, that all being said let's talk about v matrix today um when we hit level 200 we get access to these maps called uh, arcane maps so uh, arcane maps kind of uh, we won't really talk too much about arcane maps but we will talk about something that they uh, give us so they give pretty decent exp but really the whole purpose of training at um, an arcane map is because they drop uh, arcanes and node stones so um, these arcane maps can be accessed here in the arcane power field uh, they drop these things called node stones and node stones when open will give one of three types of nodes so here are my node stones. Um, you can see that I have uh, nine slots. So these slots that I have are, um, I have three skill nodes, the ones where you can see where there's no like uh, triangle in them because um, the skill nodes only have one skill. The triangles that you see, like the ones I've just highlighted now, those are called boost nodes. So. Um, here are all the nodes that are possible from uh, opening a node stone. There are things called skill nodes. Skill nodes essentially give us a skill. So this one is Howling Gale. Uh, this is a fifth, it's not really a fifth job. It's more like just a skill that's given to us from the V matrix. I was gonna say fifth job because it kind of feels like fifth job, but it's really not. It's just skills that we get at level 200 from these node stones. So Howling Gale and Guided Arrow are particular to the Archer class. Uh, Howling Gale is specific to the uh, Wind Archer class. So these are just new skills that we can have. Some of them are not exactly skills, they are buffs. So this one is Sharp Eyes, uh, Holy Simul, uh, Advanced uh, Blessing, Hyper Body. So these are all just skills that we can craft to complement our skills. Uh, it costs 150 shards to craft a skill node. So here you can see I have Howling Gale. Um, when that's equipped, it gives me a skill called Howling Gale. So it summons a giant uh, tornado. I really like it, it's kind of cool. But your class probably also has another really cool skill. That's kind of what I really like about level 200. They've given us uh, cooler skills for our uh, class. So next, uh, we next kind of like a node that can be opened from the node stones are boost nodes. Boost nodes kind of just give us another stone, another uh, way to boost our existing uh, job one to job four skills. So these are the ten skills for a wind archer from um, their job one to job four. For your class, there may be more, there may be less. Generally, if there's more, it's going to be harder for you to open a perfect trio because node stones are kind of like RNG um, and that when you open them it gives you one of three and then of that boost nodes can give you boost nodes actually when you uh, either craft them here or you open them they will give you something like this you see how this boost node has three um, skills in it my primary skill is the one in the very first slot so this one is monsoon this one is song of heaven this one is pinpoint pierce and this one is Stormbringer. So it's very important that, uh, well, I'll go into that in a little bit. Here's the third type of uh, node stone that you can get from opening a node stone, a third type of node. It's called a special node. A special node essentially just, well, it's really a special node. I don't know, <laughs> but we really, um, it, what it does is it gives you these like passives or bonuses. Like some are like, it increases crit rate by 50%. This one gives us invincibility for some time uh, after some time. So these will be applicable in different types of content. You'll just have to go through them and figure out which one works best for your class. Um, it requires 80 shards to create a uh, craft one and they'll just be applicable in different places. So those are the three types of nodes that can be opened from a node stone. So, now, let's take a look at my first slot. 
So here I have my perfect trio. A perfect trio just means that all the skills in my boost node comprise of my primary skills. A primary skill just means that these are skills for your class that you use all the time. So my first one, it was Trifling Wind, uh, Smiling Vortex, and Stormbringer. So Smiling Vortex for a Wind Archer is basically all we really do. We're still kind of like a one button kind of class. Um, the, the reason why is because Stormbringer and Trifling Wind are just procs. Those happen in a consequence of like some probability. So in this slot, these are my three main. So this is a perfect trio. Um, all three skills are part of my primary and they all complement each other. Here is the same perfect trio, but the orientation of the skills was slightly different. And that makes a difference because the skill in your primary uh, nodes skill, so this very first skill is important because you can only equip one of these at one time. Meaning this trifling wind that I have, if I open another one with trifling wind and two other of my other primaries, I won't be able to equip the same one. I can't have two primary trifling winds at the same time. So here you can see, I have a Song of Heaven, I have an additional node that I'm keeping for later, and I have a Song of Heaven already equipped. So if I try to change this and equip the other one, MSM won't let me do that. I can only equip one of the same primary at a time. So you can see here, I just tried to change. And it says, I can't even change the primary for the primary. I have to actually unequip it and then equip it. But there's no reason for me to equip a level one uh, primary because A, I don't use it every day. And right now I'm more focused on um, my other primary. So uh, I just unequipped it. And you can see here this one, and it gives me level 19 of uh, my, my uh, Spiraling Vortex and my Trifling Wind. Those are part of my like main skills. So here you can see I can actually enhance it, um, but I won't do that. Um, if I enhance it, it gives me 50 EXP. So each boost node will give you 50 EXP. It will cost anywhere from one to three node stones to level up one rank. So here you can actually see the great thing about this is the rank one is actually part of my perfect trio endgame. You can see when I've been leveling up my other ones level 17, if I use the level 17 as fodder, as enhancement fodder, the level one will go all the way up to level 17. There is zero loss of EXP when using uh, enhancements to transfer levels. The only thing you really lose is the one node that we used as the base. But it's a small price to pay to gain more damage as we continue to find and use node stones. So what that really means is you can actually start um, opening and enhancing your uh, nodes as long as the primary skill is part of your uh, end game like primary skills. So as long as the very first slot is a skill that you will need, you can start enhancing it. So here you can see I have uh, my three primaries maxed, Trifling Winge, Stormbringer, and Spiraling Vortex. These are my other three, Monsoon, Pinpoint, Pierce, and Song of Heaven. Those are not too important now. They're pretty important, but not in the current state of the game. So uh, I really just focus on these three for now and have, I will try to get these up to level 25. And then each slot actually goes up to level five as well. So a node stone is maxed at level 25 and the slot is max at level five. So a total boost that we can get for a skill is level 60, which means at a minimum, because each skill gives 2% boost, that means between, uh, that means with two node stones that boost something up to level 60, we get 120% more damage for that particular skill. So you can see that that's actually a lot of damage. So node stones are currently the best bang for the buck. So if you uh, are either farming them or using them or whatever you're focused on upgrading, at level 200, node stones will give you the most uh, cost-effective way of raising your damage. So uh, let's actually see if we can, uh, let's, let's see how we can actually use node stones and level up some things, right? Like we talked a lot about what the matrix is, how to use them, etc. So let's actually um, open some and see what to do. 
So I didn't have any, I didn't find any node stones. They're super like random drops. So I just bought one. Um, here we've opened one. And then I usually just go like this. I just go through it and see which one can be enhanced. So this one can be enhanced uh, each node stone. Boost node gives 50 XP. So that gave me 50 XP. It didn't really do much because I was near the bottom end of the experience. So I was 20 out of 135. Since it gives 50 each, I'm gonna need another one. Let's let's see like, the reason why I'm buying another one is so that we can see if there's like something different. So when we open node stones, we get a boost node, a skill node, like here, this is a skill node. Um, so a skill node it actually is different from a boost node because, well, this skill node is something that we can't use, it belongs to the Aaron class. Extracting a skill node will give us 40 node shards. So that's great, as you'll see uh, here, when, it, when we actually go and craft, you can actually craft your own node shard or your node stone from shards. So. When we go and craft the node stone, it costs us 35 shards. You can see that we got 40 shards for a skill node. So it's actually in our favor to open skill nodes. We actually gain five shards each time. Oh, nice. So you can think of this as, since it doesn't even cost mesos to extract, which is great, that's actually a bonus. I don't know why uh, Nexon actually did that, but let's not bring it to their attention. Anyways, so here's us opening another one and we got stormy spiraling let's see if that's actually useful so what i usually do is i just go through and see if the enhancement button ticks up it looks like it did not what that means is the primary of this one breeze arrow it's not something that i currently like care about so what i'm probably going to do is i'm just going to extract it because there's nothing i can really do with it um, i guess i could save it enhance it all the way to level 5 or 16 or etc so whenever we in, whenever we extract um, a node stone from the um, boost node, if it's leveled up, there are certain levels that give you more shards out than it costs to put in. What it means is that um, we basically gain a number of shards. I think that's level five, you gain two extra shards. Level 16, you gain like 12 or 20 extra. But essentially, like I, I don't really like worry too much about that. I kind of just extract if they're not within my primaries. It's probably not the most effective way, but if you're someone that's wailing on node stones, you can actually open a bunch of them and see if you have matching sets. Then you can like enhance one to level five or level 16, depending on how many you have. And you can actually extract more shards out than you put in. So that's like next level gaming. We won't go too much into that, but hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of like the basics of uh, V-Matrix. Um, you can see here I have nine slots. I don't think I covered it, but I have nine because I'm level 216. So as you level up, you have the opportunity to use mesos to open more slots. The more slots you have, the more uh, boost nodes you can have, the more skill nodes you can have, and the more power you can gain. So um, yeah, I think that was it for my for the uh, V Matrix how to. If there are any questions, always, as usual, either Discord me, post them in the YouTube chat, and just let me know what else I can kind of like um, talk about so that uh, V Matrix shouldn't be like that scary. It's kind of like a cool new way to build your, um, your hero up, and that way you can just keep increasing DPS that you put out. Like, node stones are one of the greatest and easiest ways to do that, and eventually um, everyone will have them because they're drops that drop from arcane maps. So I think of all the power-ups that Maple Story could have given, Node Stones actually is one of the best because, I mean, while it's not free, it is pretty nice because it's relatively low cost. Anyone can farm and uh, enhance nodes that they find. So uh, that's it for me, and I'll catch you guys next time.